Hey, I'm Mike Backrell, and today I'm going to give you guys an introduction to Lenny Bro style harp harmonics. Let's take a look. This harp harmonic technique works the same exact way that regular harmonics work on the guitar. So for example, with a regular harmonic, you know, you go 12 frets above and you hold your finger down. You don't press the string, you just hold it above and you, you pick the strings that way and you get the harmonics. And it can work in different places as well. 7th fret, 5th fret, 4th fret. But in general, 12th fret is the strongest. So for this basic technique, we're going to take our index finger and put it 12 frets above whatever note we want to play on whichever string. And we're not going to press down on the string. Just like a harmonic, we're going to hover above it. And then our thumb is going to be here in the back. So our, our finger's going to be on the fret, and then our thumb is going to come back and pick it this way. So if we go through the open string, it'll go 12 frets above. So that's a good way to kind of get used to this technique. So I'm right here with the 13th fret with my index finger. And I just use my thumb to pick behind it. That's not all that Lenny Bro did for the cascading effect though that he gets. He would take another finger, in this case I'm gonna use my ring finger, and he would pluck a couple strings higher and then come down and do the harmonic. So to demonstrate, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cover across the fifth fret here. And all the action is going to be right here. This, this hand's not going to do anything. So I'm going to take my ring finger, and I'm going to pluck two strings above whatever note my harmonic's on. So I'll pluck on the fourth string, harmonic on the sixth string. Pluck on the third string, harmonic on the fifth string, and so forth. One more time. This technique might take a little time to get used to, but it's incredibly useful. So when you do this, the note you play the harmonic of goes up an octave. So instead of playing this note, you get this note. And when you do this in certain sequences, you can get really cool scale runs or make the arpeggio sound really interesting. So for example, when I play this, take a listen to this. It's the same, isn't it? So when I play this, I'm just playing a pentatonic scale up and down that way. So that's a really cool little trick. Now you can take other chord shapes and do this too. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take take a an A13 here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna bar across here and I'm gonna use a note that I normally would. I'm gonna add the eleventh to this chord, which I usually no, normally wouldn't add to a chord like this. But for the sake of the harmonic, it makes it so I can do the technique down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play on the third string with the harmonic, and then pluck the first string, fourth string of harmonic, second string, and so forth. So I'm gonna go down. I think it's a really cool sound. So for an exercise on this, what I would recommend doing is taking, you know, these bar shapes like this. And just go up and down like that. Get used to the technique. And then take other chord shapes and just go down. Bring you up. You just have to follow the chord shape. So with this minor seven shape here. I'm just playing on the 17th fret, so I'm the 5th fret here, add 12, so I'm the 17th. But with this, this 13th shape, I have to follow the shape, so I'm going to start here on this 18th fret. And then 17, 17, 17. So I just have to mimic the shape of the chord with my harmonics. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Keep practicing. See you next time.